Hey everyone. All right, so finishing the day slightly in the red, but not nearly as bad as yesterday, which is good. Uh, but unfortunately, we're not seeing momentum really pick back up in the market. We're seeing some small breakouts, but not sustained moves, and certainly not anything parabolic this week, which is you know, a little bit disappointing. So kind of typical of summer trading that we have a period of sort of slowness. We had some really good action at the beginning of June, really good action at the beginning of July, but uh, now these last four or five days have been pretty slow and you know, we'll see how things pick back up. I don't expect a lot from tomorrow. I will show up, I'll do my thing, do my watch list, hopefully take a couple trades, but I'm not expecting it's gonna be a big day. So we'll be trading with small size. That way, if it's not good, the losses are manageable. If it is good, well, maybe a small profit. That'd be a great way to finish the week. And then next week, you know, last full week of the month of July, we'll see what we can do. All right, so I'll see you guys first thing tomorrow morning. So, uh, so this is where I'll finish here today, uh, down about $800. You know, it's uh, frustrating this, the fifth red day in the last, or fourth red day in the last five days. Um, but, you know, it's just sort of the way it, it seems to be sometimes that the losers get clustered together and, you know, you get hot streaks and then you get cold streaks. And right now we're just seeing a continuation of uh, really just not a lot of follow through in the market. We're seeing opportunity, but you have to be really quick. So like CUR, for instance, um, this I have $193 of profit on. This was a really tricky one because uh, it halted twice. Uh, the first halt was, um, let's see, let me go back. The first halt was right here. It squeezed up from 750 up to um, right around 876 and then it got um, halted. It resumed at 9 and dropped right back down to 8 which looks terrible. It then bounces off that level and squeezes back and gets halted again up here at uh, 971. It then drops right back down to below 8, 860. It then rips back up to a high of 989. So this is, you know, the type of stuff where uh, it's a lighter volume stock, you've got bigger spreads, uh, it's got a recent reverse split, uh, it can halt very quickly, and uh, it is doing that. We're seeing volume increasing, which is kind of an interesting profile here, the increasing volume, um, but I'm thinking now it's gonna be sort of just continuing to be choppy because it's faking out traders uh, on, on both sides. So, uh, the only reason I'm green on it is because uh, I got in for the break right here over the pre-market, uh, over the high of day, which was 9.50. Uh, it went into 9.71, it halted. I thought it was, I didn't, I wasn't looking super closely at the halt level. It started to halt at 9.71, which was up only 21 cents. And on that one, I was like, mm, you know, I, if it had squeezed up to $10 and I was up 50 cents going into the halt, I would have just held my whole position. But because of what it had done here of dropping down and ripping back up, I decided to sell uh, at 71 and then I was holding a smaller position through the halt. So coming out of the halt, I stopped out. Uh, it then ripped back up. I almost got back in and then I stopped myself and said, you know what, look what this just did, don't get back in. You're getting back in at the highs after it just dropped down to 860. So, hey, you know, I. I'm just a little disappointed in it overall. I was hoping that coming out of the halt, it would open higher. And then it would have been totally okay with adding back the shares I sold because it would have confirmation and proof of strength. But because it didn't, uh, I, I didn't get the opportunity to add. And, and that, of course, was for the best. So disappointing on CUR. And then CODX was the trade I took right out of the gates. Uh, well, not right right out of the gates, but I took this trade um, right here, and because I took it with only 6,000 shares, I gave myself a little more room on it than I normally would. So I got in right here for the break of 95, thinking it was breaking this uh, this double top, which, which it was. Uh, got in at 95, it hits a high of $2, I gave it a second, to break over and it flushed back down to 190. I, sh I should have sold right there. 
I should have taken a $300 loss. It then flushes down to 80, and I'm just like, oh, that's not good. And then I finally sold down here at 77. So I ended up losing like 17 or 18 cents per share when I really should have only lost five. And this is a, a great example of how sometimes with smaller share size, you can get a little more complacent. You can say, well, you know, I've only got 200 shares. I've only got 600 shares. Or for me, I've only got 6,000 shares. I'll just hold this and let's just see what happens. And then next thing you know, you're taking a loss three times bigger than what you should have taken. Now, of course, in this case, it's only $1,000 relative for me. It's, it's not a big deal, but uh, it, it wasn't it wasn't really a good exit. Uh, the entry was fine. The break the flat top target was uh, a move back up here to 209, 210. Back of mind, maybe it retests the pre market high of 225. That's all fine, but you can't hold way past your your loss by um, you know by by that that many cents. So. Um, Whatever, so so that put me in the red right away, and then CUR, just a small bounce off the lows, and there has just been nothing else that has given a good opportunity. I mean, this is the gap scan, or the Momo scanner today. Not a lot of momentum in the market. So a good day to sit tight, a good day to, uh, rather than wait until I hit my max loss, just say, hey, you know what? Market's not hot yet, I'm gonna step back. There's no reason to risk hard-earned money, um, you know, if we're not seeing good follow-through. This stock, I'm not familiar with GN, LN, so let's just pull it up. So my process, I pop up the stock, I look at the chart, I see it's a beaten up chart turning around. I don't see a news catalyst on it in the news window. Somewhat recent IPO, but red, red, red uh, since it IPO'd and not a lot of volume. So pretty quickly I can tell you I'm not interested in it. Uh, so anyway, so that one's not nothing for me there on that one but um yeah so you know i one of the things i did yesterday i, I took seventy five thousand dollars out of my account so you'll see my account's a little bit smaller so I gave myself a a paycheck for the last um a couple months of, of trading so smaller account right now here um and the reason i did this is because since yesterday was my third red day in four days, and I was down about ten or twelve thousand dollars since uh, the twenty-seven thousand dollar hot streak I had, I, I thought, you know what? Let's just cut this um, right now. I, I don't want to keep having red days that are big losses. I'm going to bring my share size down. Um, I'm going to bring my account size down. We're coming into the month of August. The last two years, August have been uh, August has been a difficult month for me, mostly because I was swinging the bat way too hard during uh, a time of year where a lot of traders do go on vacation and, and and just aren't in the market. So, you know, you end up not seeing good follow through. Now that doesn't mean you can't make your two hundred dollar daily goal. You can if you're going for base hits, but if you're swinging for the home run you're sacrificing the base hit you know you're stealing second going for third you get you strike out you know you get tagged out and, and then that's it whereas you could have just stayed at first and you're on base and that's what we would call the small winners so a little disappointing that we're not seeing better follow through but um it is what it is and um i'm just gonna step back trade a smaller size and then be back at it first thing uh, you know tomorrow morning and try to finish up this week maybe with a green day all right, so that's the goal, and I'll see you guys first thing on uh, Friday morning. If you're still watching, you must have really enjoyed that video. So why not subscribe and get email alerts anytime I upload new content? Remember, when you subscribe, you become a member of the Warrior Trading family.